All I saw was some beady-eyed guy hot-tail it into the jungle. Okay, all right. I found some. I found some uh, Digimon style lost his real shit. Great. Yeah. Are you back, Kyle? I am back. All right, I haven't read this, so this might be stupid and boring. Let's see. If you believe in alternate universes, which is which isn't too far fetched, there's an infinite number of them with infinite possibilities. <laughs> oh, yes, literally means in one of them, in one of those universes, Lost has to be real. This is seriously the same thing as the. <laughs> no. These people love this idea. You guys, just a reminder: this place would be a nightmare right. for a cripple. It's that's not what that's not what like multiple universe theory is. Phil, this this uh, beach would only be a nightmare for a cripple in this universe. In another universe, a cripple would do really well on this island. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No. The, all right. Listen to the rest of this forum post. All right. So, which literally means in one of those universes, literally. Lost has literally. to be real. Think about it. Plus one <laughs> magic island. Plus one interconnecting people with same names. Plus one Jacob and Men in Black and other forces. With an infinite number of universes, this has to happen. Of whoa, course, whoa, whoa. this is only if you believe in alternate universes, which of, which of course means Indiana Jones is real, Pandora from Avatar <laughs> Star Wars is real, anything ever thought up and more is real. Now to find oh. out how to travel between them. Hmm. Oh my god. Wait, I mean, wait, wait. So wait, guys, even, guys. If, even if that universe did exist, why would you want to travel to that universe? Yeah, why? Well, Shit's like, fucked up. Who, why are these people trying to break down the walls between, like, what? this universe and a fantasy universe using, like, a totally misrepresented <laughs> version of the multiple universe theory? Hold on, I got two things. First of what? all, that's exactly what the Digimon people were saying, is that you can't just go knocking down walls between dimensions. That shit is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> B, but think about it. You know, multiple universe theories where things are all rearranged, right? You guys, like, you guys I found a drive shaft CD. Great. In this <laughs> world, we had John Locke the Philosopher. In the other world, John Locke is the guy on the island. Right. Think about it. Here's my thing, though. Isn't the rest of the world in Lost basically the same? Yes. Like, for, for billions of people in that world, it's just Earth. So yes. if you go to that world, chances are you'll just be in this world again, except you won't have any money or, like, connections. Who you know, would want where do you to go to that world? <laughs> <laughs> well, but then you travel to the island. What? Oh, guys, I used my liability. Nice. You know, you put this it like is the that. Best Metroid upgrade ever. <laughs> Wait, you had to get a lie <laughs> upgrade? Yeah, that's what I. The whole flashback was about learning how to lie again. Uh, Jesus cl clumsy Christ. agent. Clumsy agent asks if the drive shaft CD is an Oasis CD with the name scribbled out in Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, um, so this is on a. This is on a. What I think a <laughs> fish fan site. Oh, of course it is. I'm pretty sure that's what this is called. This is called fan.com, and the the f the where the f is, it's a ph, and uh, it's like Wait, forums well, shows how do we know songs. Not just fantasy star fans. No, because it says fish here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's, then okay. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Anyway. Egg fart, of course, F with a PH. Egg fart says, I think that the TV show Lost could actually be real. Not like the same characters, maybe close though, but the island could be out there. Oh, great. <laughs> well, to be fair, Egg fart's been studying this for a long time. <laughs> Egg fart. Like, like, this reminds me actually, I remember this, like, one time I was waiting in line to vote one year. And I was behind, like, some dad with his kid. And it was, like, you know, one of these young kids who was, like, clearly probably intelligent, but he had just, he just learned, like, uh, words, I guess. And he, his favorite thing, I guess, was to go around and use the word technically, but, like, didn't really understand what it meant. So he was just like, you know, like, aliens, like, aliens could be real. Like, technically, it's possible that aliens from another dimension came, something, and his dad's like, no, you're, you mean it's theoretically possible. And I just was like, technically, there could be an island that heals people, and there's, like, polar bears. I don't know. Like, technically, this is possible. Like, I have this out of my charts. That's just that guy sounds like a crazy person, and he's not to be trusted. <laughs> Where Lost is another Facebook group called Lost is Real. 
I'm not Thank seeing. You. Only two people like it, though. Oh, guys, I saw a smoke monster. Oh, shit. You Why? Get away from that. Sound design here is not bad. I'm hearing lots of little, like, smoke monster... I would have liked oh, this game if you played at the smoke monster. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been pretty great. Wait, so is there something... Is there something in Lost with uh, the numbers 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, yeah. and 42? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because somebody... <laughs> Somebody posted a picture of Einstein writing those numbers on a board, and then the, the title is uh, Proof That Lost Is Real. Great. Perfect. Yeah. Guys, I'm hiding in the tree, in the trees, so that the smoke monster doesn't get me. Great. You know, I hope the smoke monster does get you. I Fuck kind of want to see what happens. Yeah, you I should probably let it. Ends with you getting eaten Does this by game the have smoke. checkpoints, or will you have to start this entire episode you know, that's over good again? Question. Uh, there, apparently, there are checkpoints because I can load the last checkpoint. There you go. That means you should probably just go get eaten by the smoke monster. Oh. He, if he shows up, I'm gonna. But this was, this was still made after. Like, they decided that the others weren't, like, a crazy mystical uh, tribe uh, of I don't... indigenous people, right? Yes. Polar scribe, uh, Polar scribe says, maybe you can ask the smoke monster who you are. Uh, this guy's shooting at me. Hold he's, on, hold on. He's a really bad shot, though. So I'm looking, because I I'm can't like find any more right losses by, Oh, he got me. You seem pretty calm for a guy who's getting shot at. I couldn't find any more Lost is Real theories, so I looked back at the uh, the uh, oh, show the theories tree. page, and on the abducted by alien on the on the abducted by aliens part, it says uh, in essence the survivors are no longer on planet Earth, and then in the proof it says it would explain the monster and all the strange goings on, <laughs> and then in uh, <laughs> there's a section he's like the opposite. Oh, he's like this stuff <laughs> isn't possible at all. Yeah, and then there's a section <sighs> called poking holes. And it says, Little off shot down this theory cold. There are no spaceships. There isn't any time travel, he told SciFiWire.com. But as far oh, as I know, whoa. you guys just said there was time travel. There is. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. therefore making conclusively... Although, although, maybe what he meant specifically is, like, they, they don't... Like, crashing on the island does not set them traveling through time. That comes Hold later. Yeah, Phil, right. are you sure what he meant wasn't that... They just made everything up as they went along, and they decided to use time travel at some point. Yeah, sure that, didn't mean that. That might have been. It. Yeah, I don't know. God. Um, there's also the Truman Show theory. Uh, all the world's a stage, including the island, and at the end of, <laughs> end of the end. Okay, sorry. It was like it was typed out weird. Uh, yeah, and at the sure end of the series, the camera cool. crews will reveal themselves, and everyone will have a good laugh. That's not the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like the, I like the idea I, that they would all just laugh at it. Yeah. Uh, you got us. Uh, and the, the proof is repeated. <laughs> the proof is repeating viewings, repeated viewings of the Truman Show and Survivor. The videotapes in the Pearl Hatch. Right. Oh, yeah. That's, but like, that's what I was gonna say is that it's just that that's just them going like, what if Lost was Survivor? Oh shit, you guys! Smoke monster action going on. Oh no. Action. Uh, well. Who who in the chat was the person who worked on the smoke monster? Ooh, uh, so was it's, it Seth Brower? This theory is yes. called. Uh, this theory is called. It's Just virtual that. reality. In essence, the people on the island are all part of a virtual reality. This could be from playing a game as an existence Z from being in. I don't know what that is. A, oh, okay, a, sure. Um, uh, from being in suspended animation as in Vanilla Sky or Philip K. Dick's novel. Uh, Ubik, which I've not read, uh, yeah. or due to some evil force consigning them there as in the Matrix. And it says, click for more. Ooh, there's you more. Know, I, I think all these insane theories just speak to... I mean, I don't, I don't want to say like this is necessarily a flaw of Lost, but like, the supernatural nature of everything in Lost was right. so like nebulous and poorly the, defined. Yeah, yeah, super people just, 
People knew it was supernatural, but they just had absolutely no idea in what way. Yeah, there was like there was some sort of fantasy element, but that fantasy element was was so vague that it it could be literally anything. Well, yeah. and this is why people, I guess, were so upset is because this show attracted the type of people who didn't care about character interaction, and all they cared about was whether or not it was aliens or time travel. You know? Right. Yeah. Which was not the right way to come at the show, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. This isn't, wait, this this isn't even a theory. This is just man versus nature. The whole plot is a commentary on humankind's place in the universe and the steps that people will go to feel in control of their surroundings. What? That's not a theory. That's okay, just sure. like, like that's a, a theme. That's a theme that, that it explores. Yeah, that could, that's not a that theory. could describe almost any show ever. Right. Basically, yeah. Almost, because there's only... This show is only, about conflict. Like, man versus man, man versus self, and man versus nature. Those are the only three things. Uh, apparently bats will deplete your torch in this game. Well, that's like real life, so... Sure. Yeah. Also, I don't no. have a torch, I just have a, a lighter right now. Huh. Better find a this stick. Is, this is the most cynical theory of all. It's called the commercial theory. Pa in in <laughs> quotes, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Whoever wrote this is uh, this crap is an idiot. Please ignore it. This is not a theory about the plot, but rather an opinion that the producers are merely securing an audience with no real payoff at the end. Uh. <laughs> right. He's not a real believer like us, you Loss guys. Loss is actually a TV show uh, with a storyline that becomes increasingly absurdly complex, like a Rube Goldberg machine. The purpose is to suck viewers in with mysterious plot by never giving away a sensible storyline. Despite the show's allusions to philosophers yeah. and religions, Lost is actually the intellectual content of a sitcom, and its success is a result of expensive special effects, com competent acting, and well-paid writers. It would be a fallacy to actually have a logical theory or truth to the show, because this is not the point of the show. Rather, the point is for viewers to try and figure out the plot, which is half of the entertainment. But the actual truth behind Lost is meaningless. Perhaps the actual truth is guarded so well because it does not exist, because it is so empty. Yeah, that that guy basically nailed it. I mean, that's yeah, not that yeah, that's it. not false. Yeah, yeah, that's that's lost. <laughs> Except for those things that he said that the show were about are actually really good in the show. I don't know. I like Rube Goldberg machines, but only if they're in a an OK Go video. <laughs> well, Lost is like one big OK Go video, right? That's, that's true. Yeah, they took they did the entire six seasons in one <laughs> take. <laughs> Wait. Is that why you keep sending letters to OK Go about the board game Mousetrap? <laughs> <laughs> Dear uh, OK Go. <laughs> oh god, you guys. There's a polar bear. Of course there is. No, I have to refresh. I can't see. It's a dead polar bear. It's a dead, yeah. Oh, you got a torch. Bummer. I see it now. Sick. Between this lighter action, Phil, and the earlier puzzle, I'm not 100% sure that this isn't a spiritual successor to that Saw game you've been playing. Yeah, this is looking a lot like that Saw game. Didn't you stop playing that? Started playing it again. Oh, good good for you, I guess. <laughs> good. That's one way to say it. <laughs> the way what? you chuckled <laughs> there. <laughs> the game bats. over screen there is pretty I think, awesome. I think Bats got you. That oh, game over no, was, was the darkness. Oh, game man, over. That... You were killed in the darkness. Told you. Nice. I couldn't so I'm figure sure out how that... to use my, my torch once I picked it up. With oh. the audio delay, I'm sure it ends up like I say that it was probably the darkness after it already says that on the screen, <laughs> and I just looked like I read it and then came up with a crazy <laughs> theory about it. It just, that's most of the reason the audio delay exists is to make you look bad. Um, so this part seems bad. Like, even worse than the yeah. other parts. Have you, did you get, you got past this before, though, right? Yeah, Seriously. I remember being in the hatch. So, guys, let's, oh, sorry. I was ahead. just saying, I just remember, I remember being in the hatch. So I've definitely got there. I have a theory. It is a lost theory. Every time they show Michael, he's really short, and he looks like a little boy with a beard. They haven't shown Walt at all. Follow me on this one. Yeah, I'm following. Oh. I think that 
Michael is actually Walt with a fake beard on in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems legit to me. I'm Which, by the way, is what you down. get when you're really turned on by someone's beard. So you get a beard on. Uh, toaster in the chat says, I can't believe I'm watching you play this game. I've played through it twice myself. Why? 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 why and why is this the part that you can't believe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you had no trouble with the playing the game twice part. Phil, I don't understand. What, what's the yellow meter? So, last time what happened, the reason, the reason I died last time is... Apparently, the longer that you have the lighter out, it gets it gets warmer. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna burn your thumb. When it gets you burn too your hot, thumb to death. Yes, when it gets too hot, he goes, <laughs> "Oh, it's hot," and then stops it, stops using it. Yeah, you know how yeah. it's lit, it's impossible to use a lighter without uh, burning your thumb. You yeah. know how no one can do that on Earth. No people. No. no. Do you know how, how many, many hands Freebird has set on fire? More importantly, <laughs> more importantly, guys, Keith, it's like you forgot that this takes place in a different universe, in the Lost Universe, where everyone burns their hands when they use lighters. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's another true. second is, quality of that universe. You know what? That's um, well, that's further proof to the alternate universe theory. I think it by is. the end of this, I think by the end of this stream, uh, we can break down the wall between our universe and theirs, <laughs> and we can save Flight Eight Thirteen. Is that what it 13? was? Eight Thirteen. I, don't I know. think so. We'll save a flight. It doesn't really matter what flight it is. We'll be saving people's lives. We'll be heroes. They'll write about it. Uh, I need to figure out how to use this there. Okay, I brought up an inventory. Infested, infested Chris has a good point of uh, it's a Zippo lighter. It's You're not even dying. like one of the flick lighters, like the big things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. No? All right, now I have a for real torch. That's nice. But you still got... Um, uh, uh, that's not a burn meter, that's a torch meter. This game's full of meters, man. What's that dead thing? Dead polar bear. Just that did not look like a polar bear. Hanging out, being dead. Stupid bats. <laughs> uh, so, follow up to Toaster, who played this game two times like an idiot. <clears throat> I played this through this game to get all this... Uh, to get all the achievements for myself, and then I was an idiot and told my roommate I would get the achievements for him as well. Why did you do that for him? That, I mean, that's really nice of you, but I don't right. think was you should have done that. Was it I a birthday know, would, gift? Did you have like, a like... really mean roommate? <laughs> or are you like one of those people that gets off on people being like kind of mean to you? I see that on Craigslist all the time. You're looking for that on Craigslist all the time. <laughs> right, no, like I'm, I'll be keyword. looking in the gig section and it'll be like, I'll pay you 100 bucks a week to kind of be like a dick to me. So how's isn't your new that, job going? Isn't that essentially the relationship you and you and Kyle have? Uh, no, he pays me like hundred bucks a month <laughs> <laughs> for him yeah. to be a dick to me. Yeah, it's yeah. It'd be if I paid him to be a dick to me. Um, let me see if I can find one of those because it's it's the same guy that's always posting them. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I found it. <laughs> Offering $100 a week to dominant friend to boss me around. Uh, Toaster says, I won't argue with the idiot thing. I have no defense. Toaster, I still love you. I'm glad you're watching us. I'm glad you're wasting your life watching this game again. Do you? Would you mind if I read this weird Craigslist thing? Uh, Thomas Elliott Music says, Keith, your Craig Craigslist tweets are great. Is this a thing that you do on Twitter all the yeah, time? Yeah, I, every, every couple of weeks I'll find something really weird on Craigslist and, and post it. Yeah, let's like, uh, let's hear it. Let's. This is okay. So, offering one hundred dollars a week to dominant friend who <clears throat> boss me around, age twenty two to twenty three <laughs> to thirty three. I'm a young male, twenty eight. While educated, I'm also short, wimpy, meek, and shy. Not exactly a winner, lol. So I'm fascinated by new personalities. Yes, yeah, now so. again. Oh, so okay. Sorry, my mic wasn't working. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, I'm quick. Fascinated. Wait, quickly. I found turkey sandwiches in the office fridge. That's awesome. Eat them. They're Eat from them Panera. Up. I'm trying Sorry, to read go ahead. Okay. So I'm fascinated by alpha personalities. Strong, confident, oh. dominant, arrogant. Here's a failed year for a deal for a winner. I give you cash every week while you get to order me around. You win because you get extra cash, a clean place, your errands in order, etc. I win because I get to be around an al alpha, get to feel useful to a winner, get to hear about how awesome you are, get the pride of a job well done, and it's not like I have social plans anyway, lol. Replies can be male, female, or couple. 
So why haven't you responded yet? I'm not. I'm not interested. This guy I also posted. This you guys, week. you guys. Why is the blood on the outside of the window? Whoa! Something bad's going on. This. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the fact that this guy has been posting the same thing about every couple weeks in slightly different wording for about six months. <laughs> I forgot to. Uh, I was that. even changing the wording because that's the thing that seems interesting to me. Is like, how do? What does he think he can change to make people yeah. more interested? He's trying this to refine the, this it. Is the other, this is this is the, the only other one that showed up. Uh, this is from about two weeks before that last one. Any alpha male female couple want one hundred dollars a week plus an errand boy? <laughs> young, young, twenty eight, and educated male here. I'm a very meek guy by nature. Humble, short, docile, quiet, wimpy, shy, etc. Those are Thus all. I'm those are all uh, words that. That relate to Meek, all right? Yeah. yeah. Thus, I'm I like that he's young by... and he's 28. I like that he wanted to clarify. He's not one of those older 28 year olds. He's <laughs> yeah. a young 28 year old. Well, it's I, a young in the I also like system. that he oh, he keeps saying okay. thus, like I'm a Meek, <laughs> therefore I'm fascinated by alpha types. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. those don't really follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I wouldn't be shy, etc. Thus, I am fascinated by dominant, alpha, confident, arrogant personalities. So I'm looking to be the sidekick to an alpha. Whether it be running your errands, cleaning your place, etc., you benefit by having a sidekick to give you cash and do menial labor. I benefit by ha getting to hang around a winner for a short amount of time, getting <laughs> to someone interesting, and getting some advice. Oh, 